Hello and welcome to Endurance on Gaming. Today we're taking a look at a browser-based MMORPG called Bleach Online. This game is available in the link in the description below and this game has this lady that does this. And this. And that. And this. Don't ask me why. And while the game is loading you get the screen with a cat and three very troublesome ladies that had a problem that I was going to describe but I didn't get to read it. So alright, so let's choose a character, there's three, uh, sorry not three, six characters to choose from. There's a lady, there's another lady, there's a third lady, there's a guy, and there's a guy here, and then there's a guy here. I don't really know what the description even means, it says personality cool, class spirit blade, features spiritual lady who can combine reishi together to form bow and arrow to kill enemy. Eh, I'll just pick whatever it comes to. Uh, okay, extremely smart. Uses own wisdom. Whatever looks better, I guess. Um, heroic powerful capability. Has trouble controlling her own strength. So this is a sword fighter. This is some sort of a spirit fighter. And this looks like a wizard, magician person. I'm gonna go for this lady because she seems to have a larger package that she comes with. And as you can see, there's a powder bear in the bottom uh, right corner. That kind of describes this game in a nutshell, but essentially this is a browser game um, that is an MMORPG and also uh, is very similar to game has music and also is very similar to games like um, basically the variety of games that I reviewed before. And what I'm talking about, of course, is the R2 games. All R2 games are kind of similar, but this is not an R2 game. This is actually a game by Go Games. And the first question it asks me is, who is the author of Bleach? I don't know, but I'm going to guess that it's not J.K. Rowling and not Jennifer Lopez. I'm guessing it's T.T. Kubo, whoever this person is. All right, and I get free money for answering the question correctly. Okie dokie, uh, let's move on. Okay, and there we go. All right, just like that, we're starting the game right away. Some old guy is, taking, is talking to me. Are you awake? Um, how does it feel to sleep for 100 years? Apparently, I've slept for 100 years. Yes, the storyline here is a little bit confusing and it sort of like throws you into the game right away. I shall do whatever you tell me, old man, even though it sounds very creepy. Who am I? Where is this? Actually, good question. Who am I? I thought I chose a female character. She looks very manly. Um, you are finally awakened. This is Seri Tee. -E. But you need to can you speak faster. Find yourself who you are. Okay, thank you. And just as you've probably guessed, this game has auto run, which is done by clicking this button, and also auto battling. And I'm sh I'll show you what the battles are like. Searching for the true me. It's you. You're finally awakened. This guy has cross eyes. Uh, it it's you. It's me. You know me? Then who am I? Uh, Captain Commander Yamamoto brought you back from the battlefield. No one knows who you are. Except for me and my cross eyes. Alright, so uh, let me just stop for a second. Obviously there's inventory. I'm gonna click on it in a second. Alright, so there we go. Inventory, equipment, accessories, materials, spirit stones, hogu and temporary vault. Don't know what these last ones are. Um, there is also something called Nemo class. And that is... Huh? Bleach was serialized in which Japanese magazine? Marvel Comics, Times Magazine, Shonen Jump. I get free money. There we go. Good job. Um, all right. I guess as I get as I answer more of these questions, I get to get more free stuff. At level thirty, I'll be able to upgrade uh, to a new class, Vanguard or Support. At level fifty, I can become four more classes. And at level 72 more classes. So there's quite a lot of class selections as you progress the levels. Uh, and obviously various things like free items for just playing ga the game. Uh, unfortunately this game does have a lot of loading screens. Oh yeah, free stuff. Give, give me more. Give me more. First day, give me more. Oh, so much free stuff. But of course this game also has premium currency that does encourage you to buy itself. And basically, if you do buy uh, uh, premium currency, your character will be just a little bit faster, a little bit stronger, and a little bit better than everyone else. Oh, just in a second, just a second ago over there, you saw the map. I'll show it to you in a second. Aizen, I suddenly remember fighting this guy. Who is this? Uh, did you remember anything? Said Cross Eyes. Join the battle and see if you can remember anything. Said some other guy. Where, who are you? Alright, so, um... Click on target NPC. 
the battle is about to begin. All right, let's. Let me show you what the battles are like. All right, and the battle has begun, and it's auto battling. Here's my right hand. Here's my left hand. I'm not doing anything. But essentially, it's a JRPG style uh, with a lot of fast-paced, crazy effect cinema jigs, and once you win, you get to have loot and reward. And the music is actually pretty cool. But all of this is, of course, reminiscent of games from um, our two games. A lot of their games are very similar. They have really nice graphics, really nice music. But the gameplay is unfortunately automated. But I'm not going to complain about that. I'm just going to see what else this game has. Uh, as you can see, there is a kind of a trivial storyline. And uh, as you progress through levels, you discover new things, new abilities, and and so on. But anyway, let's continue. Next day, in the Captain Commander's office, I have a task I need you to finish. Sure, it's time for me to go out. 13th Division Lieutenant something something has stayed in human world and not returned. Go investigate about this. Alright. Excellent translation. And I'm guessing that my next mission will take me to a new area. Let's go and find out what I need to do. Oh, uh, this is basically the... Uh, the city or the, or the hub city where you get to interact with other people and can join parties and create guilds and all that but we're not gonna do that yet because because why who needs people I'll, I'll do it myself i'm gonna go at it alone i'm already level four anyway uh let me just check my uh character sheet here and i can receive salary and i can also uh get my next rank here um now unfortunately there's a lot of japanese terms here so I think without speaking Jap or understanding Japanese, it's really hard to understand what these mean. I don't even know like what Rukon guy is or what Shino Academy student means. But uh, I'm not gonna complain. I'm just gonna try to click on everything until it gives me stuff. All right, it doesn't let me do this yet. Fine. Let's see if I care. I'm gonna go kill people. There's a boss coming up. All right, so this is the map basically, uh, or map-like environment, and here. You progress through these, basically it's a linear path, you progress through various levels and you try to defeat people, the bosses. Uh, you can see that team means that there's actually a total of 7 players that can join you, or you can obviously uh, hire, um, hire NPCs to help you. Anyway, so I'm fighting some sort of a blobby blue thing that looks like... I don't even know. I don't even know what that looks like. It's a... Look, I got some sort of a spoiled strawberry. A rotten strawberry has been defeated. And I got stuff that I don't know what to do with. All right, new quest guy. And this person gives me another reward thing in my Jake called daily sign in. All right, sure. I totally need that because why not? And this lady is telling me that basically I get rewards for signing in every day. Of course I do. It's one of those games. Okie dokie, moving on. Did I mention I'm already level five? Yes, I did, just now. Alright, uh, this person wants me to... Who is this dude? Why can he see my Shinigami form? What? Uh, what's the Shinigami form? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I got items. Yay! I got items. Weapons, you can w increase battle in... What? Oh, yeah. You can increase power in battle, of course, with my weapons. Alright, so let's open my inventory and equip stuff. Click to equip. Click to equip. Yeah, that's right. I have two items now. Uh, this gives me my um, ranking as A minus. What are these items? Oh, this is experience. Let's use it. What? Oh, I can use it on my character. No, I can only use it on my partners. All right. All right. Okay. So um, character sheet is very rudimentary and quite similar to other browser MMORPGs. Um, I guess the only thing that really this game has going for it, apart from other games, is that, first of all, it's more Japanese um, than other games, and the battles are very JRPG-like. And the other thing is that it does seem to have um, a little bit more focus on team battles. And I think, personally, I kind of like these battles a little bit more than R2 Games games. Um, in R2 games, the battles are usually not as interactive. Here, they're really, really well drawn, really fast paced, do feel like JRPG games, and all have, you know, epic music. Look at that, look at that. This is pretty awesome skill right here. Um, so, this is what JRPG battles should be like. Not like in our two games where you're just like people hitting each other non stop without really having any effects. 
Okay, so I need to defeat this person, I think. Right? Yes. Confuse Hollow. You're going down, Confuse Hollow. And you're going down confusedly. Alright, so that was surprisingly easy. And I won, and I'm going back. And uh, yeah, the other thing that this game has, apart from other uh, similar games, is that it does seem to have a kind of a rudimentary storyline, but at least there's something that to, for you to read. You don't really have to read it, obviously, but there's something going on here. There's some kind of a story you're trying to discover who you are. And this, I think, makes it a little bit more original than just, you know, walking around trying to progress the levels pointlessly, and then eventually going to a PvP area and just fighting non-stop. Um, and also, as you can see, I'm not leveling up like crazy. In R2 games, uh, uh, any of the R2 games, games, I would probably by now be like level 20. But here, I'm still only level 6, uh, still learning uh, my way around the game. So it's actually kind of different. A little bit more complex, I would even say. And it seems to mention that I do have an ability to change um, shapes or change um, into some kind of a different form. And also, there is something called formation, which makes it a little bit more strategic. In other words, I can actually change where my teammates are placed. So I'm going to place this guy right here. And this is my assaulter. This is my support uh, layer. And this guy is vanguard or protector. So I'm going to see how this is different. Let's go and find someone. Oh, map. Cool. All right. I can go to a new level now called Blue Stream Gate. What is, it? What is here? I don't even know. All right, let's just finish this first. Um, oh yeah, Blue Stream Gate was the main city. This is the level 1 to 10 area, so I need to fight this guy called Elite Beast Hollow. And there's two of them actually. So this is get, this already uh, is getting more complicated. And it's actually starting to look more and more like traditional JRPGs. Unfortunately, I don't really get to control anyone during the battle, which would be nice. It would be nice if I could control these people. Unless it is not meant to be. Okay, I have some equipment. You can wear it to protect yourself from enemy damage. Enemies damages. Okay, the translation could be better, of course. Alright, so I think that's really... That really shows you what the game is like in a nutshell. Um, it doesn't really give you any crazy items to start, which is actually, I think, is a benefit because... Um, a lot of games that are similar often shower you with free items in the beginning so that you can kind of, you know, find it easy to play them at first. But here, you do have to acquire items, you can obviously purchase them. And um, even though there, is, there are all these free um, item packs and all that, they don't really give you that much. Um, yeah, they give you potions and stuff, but nothing like overpowered like in some other games, which I think is a good thing. All right, then let's do another battle. This is going to be my final battle. Um, lots of storyline going on here, and look at that. This is this looks like a interesting monster. I think this is possibly possibly a boss. I'm not sure. Oh my god, look at that. This looks like a whoa. That is totally a boss. Uh, yeah, that looks like something like from Attack of a Tit on Titan, mixed with like weird ass snake thing. And I actually lost one of the units. I lost my Vanguard. Yeah, this attack on Titan guy killed my guy. I wonder if I lost him forever. Let's find out. Ooh, and I didn't. He's still here. Good. I guess he just dies for one battle. Alright, Soul Map. What is that? I got some kind of a new feature called Soul Map. And of course, this is where you can um, increase your skills and activate different uh, various skills. So this trains my character, giving them more wisdom, more strength. And this right here gives me a new skill. So I'm gonna get this skill going. And now I can actually fight a little bit differently with a little bit more power. And the cool thing is that you can actually equip um, various items on your um, uh, other guy as well. So this is my protector, my vanguard. And I can actually put, give him some of the items that I'm not using. So he will be a little bit more powerful. So right now he's a um, D rank. And I'm at A minus, but whatever I'm not using, I can give it to him. And as I acquire more of these teammates, I can actually equip stuff on them as well. So this is actually quite an interesting feature. Um, anyway, so I think I'm going to stop this here. Overall, this is a pretty interesting MMORPG, browser-based MMORPG. Um, really good music, really good graphics. 
uh, interesting battles. I actually enjoy these battles a lot more than in R2 games. And I really like this team um, teammate thing component. So basically, you can actually... There's a bit of strategy involved because you have to place your teammates specifically. And you have to upgrade them. You have to try to level them up. And they do help you in battles a lot. And as you progress through battles, obviously, you acquire new skills, new weapons. Now, what I don't really like about this game is that there's a lot of terms that are not really properly translated. Like, a lot of terms that are totally Japanese that you don't really know what they mean. Like, for example, if I go into my character sheet... Or even if I go here, Nemo class. What is the Nemo class? It doesn't even say that. Uh, what are Nemo recommendations? And what... Like, or if I click on my character... What exactly is Shino Academy? What is Rugnong Gai resident? So it doesn't actually explain any of these. It does give a, J a Japanese term for them, but uh, written in English, but unfortunately it doesn't help me a lot. Anyway, so thank you for watching. Please subscribe, check out some of my other browser uh, based MRPGs that I took a look at. And game you later, alligators. Bye bye.